Over the last 10 years, one of my biggest challenges was convincing organizations and businesses of the need to adopt a value-adding, digital-first approach to everything that they do. Fast forward to a post-pandemic work-from-home era, organizations now understand the need to incorporate digital platforms and digital strategies into everything that they do. You find organizations and businesses experimenting these days, and rightfully so. You find businesses experimenting with blockchain, um, digital currencies, smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality, internet of things, voice technology, 5G technology, you name it, organizations are experimenting and doing great things with technology because they now understand that customers run first to digital platforms than anything else. This space of digitization actually exposes organizations to a number of risks. In the last year and a half, there's been a 500% increase in cyber attacks, leading to severe financial losses, loss of reputation, loss of customer trust for organizations. In 2020 alone, $945 billion was lost as a result of cybercrime. A further $145 billion was spent on cybersecurity activities trying to safeguard digital platforms. It is estimated that by 2025, the world would have lost or the world would lose $10.5 trillion to cybersecurity attacks. The UK alone loses up to £30 billion annually on cybercrime. Given these numbers, it is a no-brainer that organizations need a robust and aggressive risk management regime that not only prevents attacks but also mitigates the effects of a successful attack on any part of your system. It is no longer a question of if you will get attacked, rather more of when you will receive a successful cyber attack. Some of you may think that this is not relevant to you. It's only relevant cybersecurity risks and cybersecurity talks are only relevant to businesses and, and larger organizations. That is a false dichotomy because when you look at the businesses and the larger organizations, they are made up of human beings. And it is a known fact that in cybersecurity, human beings are the weakest link. If you train your humans properly, you actually cut out 80 to 90% of cyber attack. Have you ever been at home or, or had a conversation with somebody where you say something like, oh, I need plasters. And then the, the rest of what you see on social media or on digital platforms are adverts for plasters. How did these platforms know that you said something about plasters the other day. So even as individuals, we need to incorporate some very, very basic, basic cybersecurity principles to protect our data, to protect our privacy. If you would like to find out more about emerging technologies and emerging threats to these technologies or to human beings or to businesses as a whole, then I'd like to invite you to join our next human capital development session. It is titled Digital Risk Management. This is a practical three-week session designed for all organizations of all sizes from all industries and sectors. You will be exposed to frameworks, tools, and practical methodologies that you could use to not only prevent cyber attacks but mitigate the effects of a successful cyber attack on your infrastructure. You will learn practical and instantly implementable ideas from a faculty of experienced cybersecurity specialists, digital strategists, uh, risk management professionals, and fintech product designers. We provide a money back guarantee. So if you take our course, apply the principles you've learned, and you don't find them effective, we will refund you the cost of this program 100%. My name is Christian Junior. I'm the Managing Director of Rix Technology. We are a tech company based in London, UK. To find out more, click on the link below.